Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue showing you how to insert images into your pages. First of all, you need to go into the edit mode of your page, of course, otherwise you won't be able to modify it much at all. And then you put the cursor where you want your image, as before, insert, and then you go into the picture here, and you have from computer, from address, and from SharePoint. I already showed you in another demo the from computer. In this case, I'll show you from address. As you probably know, everything on the web has an address. It's also called a URL. So if you go to, let's go to countstrom.com, for example, and you want to pick one of the images from that site, maybe this one, an image of me when I had a bit more hair. And as you see, now when I right click that picture and go into properties, you see here is the address, which is also called the URL of that particular picture. So if I just select all that, like that, triple click and copy, and I right click to copy, and now I can go into my site here and go insert from address. And there I just type in the address of the image there. And there we go. And that's the picture from another address. And as you see, the address here is indeed pointing to my website and the image there. And now, of course, you can continue working with the image as you normally would. You can change the size. You can change the image styles, the position, all of those things. If you don't get these handles, most likely you're not using Internet Explorer. In Firefox and Chrome, these handles do not work. And if you want to modify the size of the image, you would go in here and specify the horizontal size and the vertical size. If you, for some reason, want to break the proportions of the picture and make me look strange, you can do that too. Um, like that, for example, you can make me look very, very wide or something. But of course, any, if you do something like that, then control Z is a very good way to get back to your original size of the image. So that concludes my demo on how to insert images from an address. You just go to the website, find the image that you want to pick, right click properties and then copy. Note though, when you do that, then the image is not copied into your SharePoint site, it's just linked there. So if the image is moved then or updated, then you get the latest version of that image. So that might be both a problem and a benefit, of course. So that concludes this demo on how to insert an image from an address. Thank you for watching.